Paula, in the past, it's been a U.S. president or former U.S. president who's flown to Pyongyang to negotiate the release of an American prisoner. So why was it different this time? And was the U.S. vice president, Joe Biden, who was in Seoul, was he involved in any way? Well, John, uh, the vice president was asked about that, and he said he didn't have any direct involvement. He wasn't uh, involved in these uh, direct talks that the administration uh, officials have told CNN about. Uh, but it has in the past uh, been required to have a president uh, to, to secure the release of uh, American citizens who have been arrested. Uh, now, we saw in the past President Clinton and also former President Carter traveling to Pyongyang, which is obviously a huge propaganda coup for the country uh, to have these presidents coming to uh, to Pyongyang and, and, and asking for the release of one of their citizens. In this case, uh, that wasn't necessary. Uh, now, certainly there will be questions as to why he was uh, released uh, at, at this point and why it didn't take uh, somebody actually going to Pyongyang to, uh, to lobby for his release. Uh, it could be coincidence, but maybe not the fact that uh, Joe Biden, the vice president, is here uh, at this time. He's uh, uh, just this morning, this Saturday morning, been laying a wreath for the, uh, uh, the victims, the U.S. Uh, uh, Amer the American Korean War veterans who were actually killed during that 1950 to 1953 war. He's going to the demilitarized zone, the, uh, the zone between North and South Korea. So it's possible uh, that that uh, timing is not coincidental.